This is question 10. Here we're given the diagram of a solid prism made from metal and we're told that the cross section of the prism is a trapezium. So that means that this trapezium shape here is running all the way through the 3D prism. Then we're told that the parallel sides of the trapezium are 8 and 12, we can see that there. The height of the trapezium is 6 and we're told that the length of the prism is 20. We're then told that the density of the metal is 5 grams per centimetre cubed and we're asked to calculate the mass of the prism. So first of all, let's just talk about density. What we can say about density is that density is equal to mass divided by volume. So density is the amount of mass that will fit into a certain amount of space, so a certain amount of volume. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. Now if we look at what the information that we've got here, we've got the density is 5 grams per centimetre cubed. And so what we can say is that 5 will be equal to the mass, which is what we're looking for, divided by the volume. Now we don't have the volume, so what we are going to need to do is we are going to need to work out the volume of this prism. Now to work out the volume of a prism, so the volume of a prism, what we can say is that this is the um, surface area of the cross section, or it's the area of the cross section, So volume of a prism is the area of the cross section multiplied multiplied by the length. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to work out the area of this trapezium that I'm just marking here. And once I've worked out that area, I'm just going to multiply it by the length, which is 20. So, to work out the area of my prism, I'm going to have to do use the formula half A plus B multiplied by H, where A and B are the parallel sides and H is the height. So, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to do half multiplied by 8 plus 12 multiplied by the height which is 6. So working this out, half of 20, so half of 8 plus 12, so half of 20 is 10. 10 multiplied by 6 will give me 60 centimetres squared. So that means that the area of my cross section is 60 centimetres squared. Area of the cross section, to work out the volume of the prism, I just now need to times it by the length. So I now need to do 60 multiplied by the length, which is 20. And that will give me my volume. So what I can say is that 5 will be equal to the mass divided by the volume, which I can say is the area of the cross-section, 60, multiplied by the length, which is 20. So working that out, I can now say that 5 will be equal to the mass divided by 60 times 20, which gives me 1,200, which that means that my mass is going to be equal to 5 multiplied by 1,200. And so my mass is going to be 5 times 1,200, which I can say means that my mass, I'm just going to write this over here, that my mass of the prism is going to be 6,000. Um, and that's all oh, we need to be careful here. It says give your answer in grams. We've worked out the mass. Uh, sorry, it says give your answer in kilograms. Now, we have worked out our mass so far in grams. We've worked out our mass as being 6,000 grams. The reason why it is 6,000 grams is because our units being used for the density 
was 5 grams per centimetre cubed. So if my mass is equal to 6,000 grams, then what I then need to do is just write that in kilograms instead. So 6,000 grams, what I can say is that there is one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So my mass is going to be six kilograms. So final answer, uh, given in kilograms, would be six.